Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to go over how to calculate comparative statics. So if you remember, we just did a video on the Hawk Dove game. We found out there were a bunch of different equilibria depending upon the parameters V, which was the value that they were fighting over, uh, and the cost parameter C, of the cost of fighting a war if they came down to fighting a war. So we see all the equilibria here are on their screen. We already did all of this, but now I have a question. And that question is, in the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, which I've conveniently left up right here, how does the probability of war change as a function of the cost parameter C? And what we're really seeking to do here is solve something that we call comparative statics. Now, don't ask me why it gets that name. A name doesn't really make much sense because we're actually looking at how things change, not how they remain the same, not how they're static. Um, we are doing some comparing, so I understand why you get the word comparative there. I don't understand why it's called comparative statics, though. Don't ask. That's just the term for it. I didn't create it. If I did create it, I probably would have called it something else. But the definition of a comparative static is how a game's equilibrium behaviors and outcomes change as a function of the game's parameters. So in this particular example, let's see here, we're looking for the parameter C. So our question or our parameter in que of question is the cost value. And our object of interest or our outcome of interest here is the probability of war. And so now we need to figure out how to do this. How do we solve for that question that I just asked? And there's basically four steps to calculating comparative statics. So first you solve for the game's equilibria, and then after you've done that, you calculate the element of interest. Then you take the derivative of that element of interest with respect to the given exogenous variable. And then finally, you check whether it is increasing or decreasing as a function of that variable. So you take a look at the derivative and see if it's gonna be increasing or decreasing. Now, that's a bunch of complicated steps here, so fortunately we're going to be uh, looking at an example here with the Hawk Dove game and that question that I asked in particular. So, first we need to solve for the game's equilibria. Fortunately, we've already done that. We did that in the last video. There they are. We're good to go. Second, you calculate the element of interest. So if you remember, the question here was in the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, how does the probability of war change as a function of the cost parameter C? And so our element of interest here is the probability of war. We wanna know how the probability of war changes. What is the probability of war here? Well, the probability of war is the probability that we end up in this box here where both players are playing hawk hawk. That's where we're getting the fighting and that's where the costs are being incurred because they are fighting a war. So. The uh, probability of war here is simply going to be uh, dependent upon the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. And we said that both players play Hawk with probability V over 2C. So if we write that down here, we see that the probability of reaching this outcome is simply V over 2C times V over 2C. And that's going to be uh, equal to V squared over 4C squared. So that is our element of interest. That is the probability of war. So we're done with step two. Now step three is to take the derivative of that element, which is v squared over 4c squared. Uh, and that's going to be with respect to the given exogenous variable, which here is going to be the cost parameter. So I'm labeling this f as a function of c because we're assuming that v here is just some fixed value. So we're just treating that as a number. Um, and I can simplify this to v squared over 4 times c to the negative 2. If you don't understand why I did that, basically I'm just trying to make it easier for us to take the derivative later. Um, if that's not exactly clear to you why, maybe you want to go back and review a little bit of your calculus here because you need to be able to do calculus to take uh, comparative statics or to calculate comparative statics. And like I've said, we really need to calculate comparative statics if we're going to be doing game theory. So I recommend that you actually go back and, and do calculus. And that's also why people will recommend that you do a year sequence of calculus before you start doing game theory. It's precisely for these issues here. Now, we need to take the derivative with respect to c. So f prime of c is equal to negative 2 times v squared over 4 times c to the negative third. And you do a little bit of simplifying here, and that gets you to negative v squared over 2c cubed. So that is the derivative. And now finally, all we have left to do here is check whether it is increasing or decreasing as a function of that variable. So since V and C are both strictly positive, remember that we made a rule that said the value of the object that they're fighting over and the cost for war are both strictly positive numbers. We said that that is the case. So given that is true, negative V squared over 2C cubed is always going to be negative for these values, uh, for the valid values of V and C. So that's positive. That's positive. You divide a positive number by a positive number. That's going to be a positive number. And then you take a negative number for that. So you're taking a negative number or multiplying a positive number by negative one, essentially, that gets you a negative number. So on all of the valid values of V and C, 
this derivative is going to be negative. What does that mean? Well, if you'll remember what a derivative means from calculus, if a derivative is negative on the values, then the probability of war, which is the function that we've created here, it, that means that the probability of war decreases as a function of C. So essentially, as costs increase here, the probability of war decreases. And that actually is all we have to do for comparative statics. It's really not that difficult. It's just, it takes a bunch of different steps and you have to get all of these steps right. If you get a single step wrong, you're gonna actually get a wrong answer. So it's just mostly a matter of thinking things down step by step and being careful to do everything in each individual step right. And if you do that, you'll get these problems correct. But again, as I said, comparative statics are really important. So we're gonna be seeing these things over and over and over again in these upcoming videos that I'm gonna be doing. And in fact, I will have the next one as another example here on a particular situation in baseball. So we're actually gonna do uh, an application to comparative statics involving baseball. And I hope you join me in that next video.